What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael and I hope you are having an awesome day. So literally yesterday from Metallica for the first time, I heard the song For Whom the Bells Toll. I upload that video. I go about my business, eat my nachos in the evening because it's super hot in California. And guess what? I go back to my YouTube recommendation page and I see that Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony For Whom the Bells Toll had a premiere coming out in the morning. So what better way than to check this out Super fresh video, super excited to see it. It should be interesting to see what they can do with the symphony. But regardless of that, I was a fan of Whom the Bells Toll. And you add a symphony to that, it's got to be a uniqueness that we haven't seen in quite some time. Anyways, let's get into it. Woo! Oh.
I just had to be quiet, sit there, and enjoy the epic masterpiece. You know, it's crazy to think that literally yesterday I heard For Whom the Bells Told for the first time, reacted to it, was honestly shocked. My answer, you know, with these reactions with Metallica is I really am bummed out that I did not listen to Metallica more and earlier than I should have. That being said, you know, For Whom the Bells Told, I thought it was a really good song. I enjoyed the opening, the fact that, you know, for a few minutes into the song, you got guitar in action, you're just kind of, it's really elevating you, really pulling you into the music, making you excited, you're ready to go. It's just a really, really, you know, it draws you in. Now, you add in a symphony on top of that, it just adds a different element to the Metallica song. And I got to say, it's really hard to top an OG song. I like this collaboration, though. And granted, you know, my sample size is a little bit smaller. This is based off basically, you know, we'll say 36 hours of knowing the song or whatever. But the symphony really added to it, you know, and I like the, the part that it didn't overtake Metallica. Now, I think that's where it could have been difficult is and not the right approaches if the symphony had taken over for Metallica, kind of taken their spotlight. But in this regard, they added to the power that Metallica was portraying in their music which I really appreciated and I thought that was a really really well to do concert that being said it'll be interesting to see when we can actually start seeing some concerts I know a lot of concerts are postponed till next year at least I know some countries are actually open to the idea of concerts we've seen concerts going on in England whatever it may be but it would be nice to see a Metallica concert it's definitely gonna be on my bucket list I'm looking forward to checking out Metallica live to see them Oh man, it should be interesting to see what happens in the next few months and when we can get back to that old school rock and roll action, break at our next head bobbing because we didn't stretch and warm up and we don't know how to properly do that. You know, certain situations like that, it's uh, it's going to be exciting times. But anyways, once again, Metallica and San Francisco Symphony for whom the bells told live. The reaction just premiered, so I'm super excited that I was able to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you can stay tuned to all the videos that are coming out. There's a lot more coming your way. I do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And as always for me, stay healthy, stay happy, and of course, have a blessed day. Yeah? Peace.